Good morning, Tech 102, um, the zombie-based geography class. Um, we are going to start off where we left off on Friday. The first thing I need you to do is you're going to create a folder like I just did on my desktop. In this folder is where you're going to add your website and add any pictures that you use for your website. Um, so in order to do this, all I did was right-click, I clicked New, and then I clicked Folder, and then it would ask you to name it. So I named mine Shazi Malonaba, my first and my last name, which is the exact same thing I need you to do. So do that now. So you're creating a folder on your desktop. You may pause this video and then come back to me. All right, so you've already created your folder. Now I want you to add your um, website that you started on Friday. So mine looks like a little notepad. Yours may look like a little, have the little symbol of Firefox on there. Either one's okay. So don't worry if yours looks different than mine or if yours is the same, that's perfectly fine. So you're going to drag it to your folder like so. You're gonna open up your folder, make sure it's there. So with HTML, you're always going to need two versions. You're going to need your notepad version open as well as a browser version. Right now, mine is the notepad version. So I'm gonna double click it. And this is what I have from Friday. I actually purposely took something off. So don't worry if yours has that extra thing that we added on Friday. Now I have the notepad version, but I don't have the Firefox version open yet. So I need to right click, open with, second yeah you're gonna click open with and then Firefox if yours isn't there or if you have it as Firefox but you need to open it up as notepad you may have to um, and it's not there like here these first four you may have to click choose default program and find it that way and if so if you're here and you still can't find notepad or Firefox then you have to click down here and it's going to appear I promise so I'm going to click Firefox because that's what I need open. I'm going to click OK. And you give it a second for it to load. OK, so this is the color I chose. Obviously, I don't have text on here. I purposely took that off. So my text color is not appearing and my text isn't appearing whatsoever. So what I want to do is go to my notepad version. And I have two things open right now. So let's close this one out. And I have to add one thing I totally forgot on Friday, which is you're going to go, you're going to click enter twice underneath HTML and you're going to type body. And then in front of the closing HTML, you're going to do a closing body tag. You're going to see a pattern that whenever you have a closing tag, you have these forward slashes in them. So now I want to add h1 which is our heading which is i believe what i had you guys add last time if it's if it's a t or if it's a p if i asked you guys to add it to your p you're gonna delete that because it needs to be h1 so i'm gonna go underneath the body background color i'm gonna press enter a few times and then i'm gonna type h1 and then remember it's the title it's the heading that you want for your website so i'm gonna make mine run zombies are coming exclamation mark I need a closing h1 tag so I'm going to use that forward slash I like to refer to these little symbols as just the signs or a tag but you can say less than great greater than signs that's fine too so check that you have this pause the video and then come back all right so let's click file save and then let's go up to our web version of it and click the refresh or the reload button. And there's your text. However, I want to center it. So let's learn how to center. I'm going to go back to my notepad. I'm going to go in front of the H1, in front of this first sign. And I'm going to, inside of those signs, I'm going to write the word center. Okay, make sure you don't miss anything. If you miss anything, it's not going to show up on your website. I also need a closing center because I just want to center my heading right now. So I'm going to leave it like that. 
I'm going to click File, Save again, and then Reload, Refresh, and there you go, you have it centered. So in the second video that I'm going to make for you guys, I'm going to provide you a list of different fonts you can use and font sizes, but for now we're just focused on centering it. And if you're not satisfied with the color that you chose, we can uh, go over that really quickly. So all you need to do is open up a new tab in your address bar, just type um, HTML color picker and you're going to use that website we used last time. There are other websites that feature the different hashtag numbers. If you don't like this one and you want to try a different one, that's totally fine. This one's even more specific, so like once you choose a shade, if you want to go down the spectrum of colors and pick a very, you know, another specific shade of purple, that's fine too. I just want to show you how to do it from here. So I'm going to choose a different color just to show you guys. I'm going to choose perhaps this blue. And remember, you're going to copy the hashtag number. So you highlight first, and then you're going to copy. You're going to go back to your notepad. I want it for my background color, so I'm going to delete this one and make sure not to delete the quotation marks. And I'm going to write, I'm going to press Control and the letter V as in vampire. That's a shortcut for paste. And then I'm going to come back to this website and I'm going to pick the color white for my text color. The same idea, I right click, I copy, I go back to my notepad. I'm going to replace it, make sure not to take the quotation marks off, and I'm going to paste it there. So I'm going to maximize this so you can see it. So, so far I have my body, my body background color, my text color, my H1. I've centered it. I have a closing body and I have a closing HTML. I can click File Save or I can show you another shortcut, which is instead of having to do that, you can press Control. You hold it down, you press the letter S, and it's a quick way to save it. I'm going to make sure it's saved and it's reflecting back on my browser, so I'm going to click Refresh, and there you go. So now I've chosen a different shade of blue and I've chosen a different text color if you're not satisfied with it. So you can do that now. You can pause. The last thing I want to do for this specific video is show you how to add a title. And by that, I don't mean this heading, I mean up here, if you notice, it says HTML color picker. Or if you go to YouTube, it would say YouTube up at the top. Right now, it just says file a bunch of forward slashes in Camino. So I want to change that. How do I do that? I go back to my notepad. I'm going to press enter of twice under body. I'm going to do T inside of the signs. I'm going to come up with just something, one word, just so that it's easy for me to see it up at the top of the tab. I'm going to write zombies, but you can choose a different word as long as it's related to our website and it's appropriate. So I need my closing T tag. I'm going to click File S or File Save or Control S, whichever is easiest for you. And I'm going to go back here, press Refresh, and let's fix that. So hold on a second. My mistake. So you want to write title. Sorry. Title and then the closing one is title. And then let's see. File save. And it should self-correct. It should correct. Let's see. There you go. So now it should say zombies up here, not on the actual page. Okay. So let's um, do that now. And then that's it for this video.